Right now on Access, is there a Globes blackout backlash? Well, it's all to protest sexual harassment and Hollywood stars have pledged to wear black on the Golden Globe red carpet. But Nellie, not everyone is on board. Well, Scott Evans is at Globe Central, the Beverly Hilton Hotel, with Seth Meyers, who has the tricky assignment of hosting Sunday's Globes during this very sensitive time. Hey, Scott. Natalie, tricky indeed. I'm here with Seth. There's a black dress, kind of a blackout thing yeah. happening on the red carpet. What are you imagining, though, some of the scramble that's going on in trying to find the perfect black dress now, days before the show? I think that's the least of anyone's <laughs> worries right now. With everything, I think with everything uh, that happened this year in Hollywood, finding a dress is, is probably pretty low on the, on the issue list. I've read that you actually accepted the role as MC after all of the, the, the kind of scandal broke. Tell me what went into you accepting. You know, I come from a show where we talk about things that happen in the world, whether they're good news or bad news. Can you win? I mean, you know, this is this is supposed to be one of those, like... You know you what? Know? I think, why don't we, about five minutes into my monologue, I'll step off stage, we'll talk then, and I think we'll have a much better <laughs> sense of it. And yeah. we'll see. Well, and I we'll think see. we'll about know then, yeah. <laughs> so good to talk to you, man. All right, Natalie, back to you with more on The Blackout. All right, Scott, well, I'm here with Booth Moore, style and fashion news director of The Hollywood Reporter. All right, Booth, we know about the call to action and the Time's Up movement. Is it going to be a total blackout on the red carpet at the Globes on Sunday? I think it's going to be a, a near total blackout. I'm hearing that there might be a couple of outliers like Sarah Jessica Parker and Alicia Vikander. There was a little bit of a backlash or a blacklash, if you want to call it that, when this was first started to be rumored about in December. And some women said, you know, we really should be able to wear what we want and fly our colors. And this is isn't a time that we should um, be somber. What can women get away with? Are they going to be a little sexy still, or is there a more of a lean towards being more conservative? I think it's going to be pretty conservative, but there is really an emphasis on detail. There's going to be a lot of embroidery and lace and sheer panels. Um, I don't know that we're going to see, you know, like the nearly nude dresses, even in black or really high slits. I think that, you know, it is kind of a serious moment. What about some of the asks from celebrities having to reroute their designers? What did they tell them? I mean, I, I spoke to Law Roach, who uh, works with Mariah Carey and Mary J. Blige, and is dressing them on Sunday. And he said, you know, as much as they are divas, they are really trying to look respectful and demure. And, you know, there is an opportunity for bigger, bolder jewelry and ear crawlers and, um, you know, big statement earrings and things like that to sort of help people stand out while they're standing up. What about best dressless? What do you plan on doing this year? You know, it's something I've been thinking a lot about, um, particularly in this climate. And I'm not really feeling a worse dressless this year. I kind of don't want to undercut women in, in that way. But I think it's okay to have a best dress list, and we will. Um, you know, designers work really hard on these dresses. Booth Moore from The Hollywood Reporter. Thanks so much. Designer Christian Siriano is just one of the designers scrambling. He had to redo two custom pieces. He shared a sneak preview of this embellished black gown, which we'll see Sunday. Meanwhile, we experienced the Mad Dash firsthand. We were with Golden Globe ambassador Simone Garcia Johnson, daughter of The Rock, as she tried on colorful dresses before the blackout initiative was officially announced. She's now switched course, and we joined her just yesterday as she tried on black dresses with her stylist Tara and mom Danny by her side. I've never seen a dress like it. I love the cake effect of it. Uh, I love that it's dramatic, and I love the fit too. Oh, she looks so stunning in that dress. And she what a great. big night for her on Sunday. We're excited for her. Also, New York Magazine says they're not going to be ranking the night's best and worst dresses. They say the Time's Up organization decision to don all black is part of the reason for that. I like that. I don't like the worst dress list. First of all, you work hard. You wear something you yeah. think looks good. I think it hurts your feelings. Come on, let's be honest. We check out the worst <laughs> dress list first.